Good afternoon, good evening, colleagues, wherever you may be. Um, uh, sorry for the inability to join on time in the previous presentation. I'm out in the field. There are a bit of challenges in the network. So from Kenya, as you can see, largely we've had our outbreak from um, October last year. Uh, since then, we've had 25 out of 47 counties that have been affected by the can in the country, 26 counties actually. Um, out of this, we now have con fair control in around eight in uh, in uh, around 18, and only eight have reported in the last 10 days. Our current case fatality rate is 1.6%. Uh, we conducted our first OCV campaign in the country in February, which covered nine sub-counties and uh, refugee camps in Garissa. We are planning another round of OCV vaccination in July in six sub-counties and in some congregate institutions. Next, please. So in terms of our national strategy, we have an endorsed national uh, control, uh, control plan. It's actually an elimination plan, which was done in collaboration with the Ministry of Water. Uh, it's because of... Uh, a bit of administrative changes. The official launch has taken some time, but we hope to eventually launch it this July. We, uh, then we have an ongoing task force that is giving technical guidance to the whole response. Um, we already have an activated public health emergency operation center. We have an IMT that is managing the response, coordinating the response, and we have a cholera response plan that is endorsed by the ministry. For now, our main objectives have been to reduce the mortality and mobility in the current outbreak. Uh, one of the key issues we've seen is that our CFR has been slightly high this time, 1.6, higher than the WHO recommended. But um, we also saw a lot of the deaths who are happening in some of our facilities. And so we've been focusing on case management capacity building in a number of our counties. Uh, we have also been looking at strengthening initiation of RS in the community. Uh, besides the dissemination of the technical guidelines, cholera technical guidelines to all our health facilities, we've had a lot of staff turnover in the at subnational level, so we have to rebuild the capacity across most of these subnational levels. Uh, we have interaction, we've ha held interaction review meetings in the, affect in the affected counties to evaluate response at that level. And um, we continue to improve our response based on those findings. Next slide, please. So uh, among our key achievements, we conducted the first ever OCV campaign uh, as a reactive campaign in February and achieved high administrative coverage above 99%. We followed that with a post campaign survey, which showed uh, 93%. Um, then we have revised and validated our technical guidelines for cholera management, surveillance, and all the other thematic areas. We are continuing to hold interaction review meetings with high burden counties 
to improve response. We have trained national rapid response teams at county levels. We've also conducted a cholera treatment facility evaluation in, co in conjunction with CDC team. We've also worked with Kenya Red Cross and WHO, UNICEF, to, and all our key partners in uh, working out in responding to this outbreak. Of course, one other strength is the Ministry of Water and Sanitation and the partners in that sector have also been uh, steadfast in supporting the response. Next. Next slide, please. So our challenges, um, our challenges largely have rotated around inadequacy of resources mainly for WASH and um, risk communication and community engagement activities. Um, of course, we've also had challenges around laboratory reagents. Although we also think there are few challenges in the field around laboratory use that require uh, us to to re resensitize the subnational levels on the new uh, GTFCC lab guidance. Then, uh, of course, we would have wished to use to implement OCV campaigns in more counties, especially in areas neighboring our count, uh, our neighboring count countries that have challenges with cholera, but because of the global stockpiles, this has not been entirely possible. Although we still thank GTFCC for approval of the latest 1.57 million doses. Um, then bundling of uh, response activities has also been a bit of a challenge. Uh, there are challenges also arising from uh, we thought we would have acceptability challenges because of uh, the COVID uh, vaccine uh, challenges, but um, uh, interestingly, we did not encounter that much. So the issues we've largely had are logistical issues in security and uh, in particularly in Northern Kenya, but I think those are issues that can largely be dealt with. Last, I think, final slide. So our priorities in uh, this coming year, we want to launch our strategic documents in July. The new administration of the ministry has now settled in. We also want to roll out county specific plans to the counties to work with the counties to do that. We are still advocating for the elevation of the cholera focal point to the presidency, this work in progress. We also hope to be convening our technical working groups for cholera and other enteric pathogens in the coming year. And you also are trying to see targeted strategies for high risk groups, population groups we've seen in this current outbreak, particularly institutions like schools, prisons, and then food establishments, camps and settlements. And you also have this special population around food handling. I think next. Next slide, please. So I think laboratory capacity building, we also need to, we'll be rolling out rapid response trainings under the IDSR framework. And uh, of course, we'll be reviewing our performance through our quarterly review meetings. Uh, next. 
So we also uh, need to distribute IEC materials and train more healthcare workers and community health workers and distribute commodities. Next. This communication is a key pillar, which we, con we hope to continue reinforcing. Next. So WASH, again, WASH, this is a big pillar. The WASH challenges in our areas, particularly rural areas, we need to, we are planning to strengthen community-led total sanitation activities in hotspot areas, mainly the rural areas. Water quality surveillance in areas with conventional water treatment. And then the issues around household water treatment and safe storage. We're also planning to review uh, our public health act to address the contemporary challenges we are seeing. Next. The OCV campaign, again, we've already, we've already, uh, we had developed a multi-year plan of action for preventive, and uh, we'll be looking at how this can be facilitated. As we had indicated before, we, we are preparing to uh, roll out uh, the OCV campaign in the six sub-counties in July, and hopefully additionally, we'll also be able to get further doses for the Mandera Triangle to try and create a buffer around the Ethiopia, Somalia, and Kenya uh, Horn of Africa Triangle. Next. So thank you very much.